<laughs> Please subscribe. Make this worthwhile. Okay. I haven't seen my children in days. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our cozy corner of the internet. I am Shannon and I'd like to introduce you to my sister Lexi, who's gonna be joining the channel. Hi, I am so excited to be here today. Today we are actually doing a video where we are making over my living room for only $200. We will show you how you can thrift an entire room, do a little DIYs, and with some creativity, you can truly have the room and the look and the space that you want. Fair warning, it is raining today, so you will see some light changes. Make sure to like and subscribe because we have a lot of fun content coming your way. So we live in an apartment. Everything is very boxy. Tell yes. me what you like and what you don't like about it. I, it's just really boring. I have a lot of wall space and it's very blank. I have a big couch with nothing on it and I wanted it to feel more inviting. And currently my TV is sitting on a dresser that is full of clothes and should be in my room so i just wanted everything to feel a lot more warm and welcoming than it currently does yeah so using pinterest we have nailed down your style it's more like a boho meets southwestern vibe mm -hmm. i'm really happy with it so like all wannabe designers we are using pinterest to try and maybe recreate or just draw inspiration from a certain photo. With a $200 budget, you really have to be creative, shopping thrift stores and doing some DIYs. Yes, and don't be afraid to ask people. People are always getting rid of stuff, so we're definitely gonna use that as well. For this DIY textured vase, we mixed half paint and half baking soda. And if you'd like to watch the full tutorial, I'll link it right here. The next thing that we did was this geometric sort of Native American Southwestern art and it proved to be a little bit more challenging than we initially thought but we got the boards cut they were nine inch wide boards and we got them cut to 29 inches at Home Depot and then we found the middle and started from the middle to make the triangle the first little triangle that you see and then we went and measured and did the next triangle in hindsight I think what I would do is tape off the entire thing, each individual line being a new piece of tape, and then remove one piece of tape, paint, and then remove the next piece of tape, paint. It'd take a little longer, but I think it would be a little bit more exact. Lexi did a great job of fit figuring it out mathematically and measuring things by about two inches and then drawing the lines. So we originally thought we were just going to use the white, the black, and the um, mustard yellow paint, but by the time we finished it, it was looking a little bit too stark with the bright yellow, and so we grabbed some green paint and a little bit of red paint and blended and made it look a little bit more aged, and we also aged the black a little bit with the yellow paint and it turned out so much better. It ended up having a more realistic wood look. One of the statement pieces in this room is this poop, which is probably one of the only things not thrifted. It's from Amazon. In stores, you find stuff like this for at least $70, sometimes even up to 150. Now, this one came not filled, which is why we got it at such a discounted price at about $52. Luckily, I have some a bag of Goodwill clothes that I haven't given away yet, so I'm gonna use them as stuffing. Yeah, and the other thing that Lexi had going on were these flat like SpongeBob pillows mm -hmm. because they were filled with cotton. Um, and so we're gonna upscale them by using down filled pillows that we found at the thrift store. It's just a great way to make your space look a lot more luxe than it is. couch because it's so big we want to be the focal point of the living room before we set up everything we're gonna go ahead and hang stuff up on the wall so we don't just ruin it all yeah. and step on it so this is a family photo that I already had I got it for like 40 bucks on Groupon but I just didn't know where to put it so this is gonna go above my couch with our little DIY, DIY that we did wall art that we did and it was only eight dollars for this So normally when you're decorating a couch, you want pillows in every corner, but I only had four pillows for my entire couch. So we went ahead and filled the other corner, but my couch is actually a chaise. 
So what it means is there's no arm to put pillows by. So Shannon has this really good idea. I've never heard of it before. I actually thrifted an old jacket that was made of fur, not real fur, and I cut the pieces out that I didn't want. And then we're gonna be using this for her throw. Have you ever heard of that before? It's <laughs> genius. <laughs> Because the style of a throw is so effortless, it's really easy to cover up these little holes that were made while she was cutting it. So don't worry about having cut it, it can still be beautiful. The last thing for the couch is throws. We're gonna be putting over the top of the back. I found this at Five Below for $5 and we thrifted this little tassel thing. I love it. Yeah, I love tassels. <laughs> it kind of brings out more of the boho that I really like. Yeah. Last but not least for my little accent area is this poo that I'm so excited about. Kid friendly, mothers love it. You need it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized that I match my living room. <laughs> you definitely do. Okay, good, this means this really is my personality. <laughs> yes, I think we hit the nail on the head. Um, one of the things that you see in Southwest decor is a lot of dried plants. And so we found these on the side of the road and this was our DIY vase. If you wanna learn more about how to do this, you can watch our YouTube video on it. So we are gonna set it up on a little side table that was free on Marketplace. You guys, I see stuff like this at Target all the time, but this was free. If you have a bigger budget, you can go to Target, you can go to TJ Maxx and just get what you want. But seriously, keep your eyes out because there are deals or really cool things for free. So we're gonna put this at the side and keep this a little more minimalist. In this corner behind me, I really wanted to add a plant. So we found this snake plant, which they say is not easy to kill, which is right up my alley. It was $16.99 at Walmart. And then this little pot to go with, it was like five or six bucks. Lucky for us, Lexi already had this piece of furniture from her mother-in-law for free. So we were able to strip the top down to the raw wood with sandpaper and paint the bottom with chalk paint. And then we bought new hardware off Amazon for a dollar each. budget and you can see that it looks like a totally different room that looks amazing thank you so much this girl knows what she's talking about you should listen <laughs> to everything she says and it's warm and light, welcoming and inviting exactly what I wanted we're gonna give you a price breakdown because ours was thrifted and we'll give you an estimated cost of what yours might be at your local thrift store this TV stand we got for free but you could find on marketplace for $35 and the handles were just $1 a piece our pillows, we spent $21.42. At about $3.57 a piece, you could probably spend around $28.72. Our plant was $16.99, and the pot was $5.97 at Walmart. And of course, my beloved poof was $52 on Amazon. We got this lamp for $8.99, which is very typical. The bowl and the gourd were both priced at $2.99, but you can often find them for $4.99. The mustard throw is $5 at five below, and the tassel throw is thrifted for $5.99. Our fur coat throw was $6.99, which is very typical for a coat at Goodwill. The dry plants were of course free, and the vase we spent $6.99, but $8.99 is a very typical price. For supplies, all the paint we used for the entire makeover came out to be $13. Our boards were $8 at Home Depot. Tape was $3.67, sandpaper was $4.57, and the wax was $10.97. That brings our total to $178.53, and we estimate that you can do this whole makeover or something similar for $225.83.
We hope that this video inspires you to make whatever changes you are wanting to make in your home. And if you've made it this far, you are a complete rock star. Thank you so much. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you like content like this, we're going to be bringing lots more. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Fun. We're oh excited. Gosh. And then also so, excited. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Except, oh, I don't know. If, mm, you're gonna have to do a lot of editing. Sorry. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. Let us know what yeah. you guys see. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe. Make this worthwhile. Okay. I haven't seen my children in days. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>